Hey, so uh, this is this is a little bit of a different styled video than I normally do. Um, basically, somebody on my stream asked me to react to this video, so I did, and uh, was kind of shocked to see what was actually happening in the in the bot scene a little bit. So uh, I kind I kind of reacted to it, but I I gave my my point of view and my thoughts throughout the whole thing. Now, just be warned. Um, I'll just say that uh, there's a lot that I don't agree with in the TF2 community. In fact, I'm against a lot of things that happen in the TF2 community. So uh, if you if you don't want my opinions, uh, you should probably just leave the video now. Um, but for whoever else has big boy pants on and they're willing to watch my video, uh, you absolutely can. Um, no harassment towards anyone at all. And in fact, if I mention names in this at all, I already bleeped them out. Um, and covered all the people that, uh, should be covered. Um, again, this was, this was entirely just a react thing at first. And then I basically, at, towards the end a little bit more, gave like more examples of what I'm talking about when I talk about what I do in the video. And also, um, overall just kind of give my general experience and or opinions on the TF2 community as a whole. So you already know it's gonna be juicy me saying that, bro. Oof, TF2 uh, giving an opinion on the TF2 community. Oh man! All right, so I'm just saying, dude. If you don't, if you don't want that, uh, that kind of, uh, that kind of information or whatever, then uh, it, just don't watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't even bother. Um, you don't gotta watch it, okay? But for everyone that is at all curious and or cares, yes, I am talking about fixed TF2. Now I will say a few things really quick again. I will say that, uh, in general, I would say that, yes, the, the biggest, I will say the highest priority thing w is definitely going to be the bots, figuring out the bots first, but uh, I do kind of get into a little bit more in the community side, and my, my problems with, I would say, the community as a whole, and uh, kind of explaining my point of view on that. Now, I'm not attacking anyone, don't get me wrong, I'm not attacking nobody, but uh, there's definitely some parts of the community that, uh, is a bit yikes, and that's kind of what I bring into light in in this a little bit more. But uh, I do agree with the movement. I agree with hashtag FixTF2 completely. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the video. There we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. This guy's name is, or his voice is really familiar. AI with perfect accuracy, and they've been making the game harder and harder to play as time goes on. In 2022, a public campaign called Save TF2 launched in May. Save TF2 was in 2022, bro? Holy shit, it was that old already? Ain't no way. Damn. Despite Valve's promise, Holy the shit, dude. has gotten just as bad as it was before safety. Jesus Christ, look at all those bots! Holy fuck! If you want, you can make- Nah, I'm not gonna post react videos on my channel. Hey, so, uh, uh, you know, editing XD here. Um, I posted it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I lied there. Uh, but I, w I didn't actually plan on posting this. I really didn't. So uh, that's why I kind of talk openly and throughout the video being like, nah, I'm not going to post it. This is React channel content. I don't do React channel content, which I'm still not going to do. Keep that in mind. This is this is just a different styled um, React thing. So it, it's not just me reacting. It's just genuinely full on giving it my opinion and everything, like I already said in kind of the intro portion. Um, however, just, just basically... Pretend this is almost like a podcast, pretty much. This is kind of what this is meant to be. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll uh, I'll stop bothering you guys now, and you can kind of enjoy the rest of the video. Okay. I refuse. I'll do it on stream, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually post that shit. No way, dude. Brutal reality is that the bot invasion goes far beyond just some hackers in a video game. Team Fortress 2 is being held hostage by a malicious group of bot hosters that dox, harass, and commit crimes 
against the people that oppose you. I think it's okay because they're mentioning it, but they're not actually like saying anything. I think this is a gray area, so I think we're fine. This is the hard truth. I have evidence, and I want this story to be heard. This lunacy has been allowed to happen for too long. Enough is enough. Now, before I get into the meat of the video, there's one thing first and foremost that I want to address. You just laughed at the guy? What a dick! Was he a bi? Is that why you laughed at him? He didn't look like a bi, he looked really dog shit. <laughs> that was a good shot by the revolver, holy fuck. Unless he's cheating, I don't think he's cheating though. This guy is actually like utilizing the, the backscatter like effectively. I'm actually kind of impressed right now, a little bit. Oh yeah, that guy's botting, 100%. Oh yeah, so he was botting, that's why I laughed at him, okay. Okay, I got you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. I will avoid mentioning names to avoid giving individuals attention and reactions they want. Instead, I'll simply just be showcasing the problem as a whole. Good choice. Good choice. He's smart. This guy is smart, dude. People go out of their way to dox and harass the bot hosters by stooping to the same lows as the people we can Dude, this we need more people in the community like this guy. He's smart. He's smart, bro. He understands. He understands. You don't beat harassment groups and, and uh, you know, uh, trolls by by giving them a reaction, bro. That's how, you, that's how you, in fact, make them win. You know what I mean? Such a long video. This video will also heavily feature the testimony of Mega Scatterbomb, a YouTuber. I've no idea who the fuck that is. Who's been working on his own community anti cheat and cheater database for the bot problem. W? For the past year, he's been harassed by the group of people responsible for the bot crisis. Well, no duh. Harassment, bro, in TF2? Unheard of, dude. LMAO. I'm a TF2 YouTuber that's been fighting bots and cheaters for a couple. This is literally why I'm trying to stray away from making TF2 content, by the way. The community is dog shit, dude. There's a good part of the community that's really chill, but there's a there's a good chunk of it that's fucking terrible, too. Like, really bad. Like, this is literally why I'm kind of stepping away from making TF2 content a little bit already. I'm separating myself already from making that content. Hey, uh, editing XD here again. I just wanted to say, this is not my way of saying that I'm done with making TF2 content. I'm definitely not, and I still have a shit ton of videos that I have planned for TF2. Um, never, I'm probably not going to stop doing TF2 content, but I'm basically what I was saying in that portion is that I feel um, like pushing more variety content on the channel in general because of the fact that this stuff happens on the regular in the TF2 community. Anyway, just wanted to clarify that I'm not done making TF2 content in case anyone actually thought that. Thank you. What I have to say here will put a permanent stain on their reputation. Bots are computer controlled players capable of interacting with Team Fortress 2 without human input. Bots have many purposes. Some are used to farm in game items, some are used to facilitate trades via Steam, but the kind that we're specifically talking about are the cheating bots. Yep. Cheating bots enter the same servers as regular players, using aim cheats to ruin the game for everyone else. They can navigate the map, capture objectives, and use chat to send messages. Why does he have it in like two frames per second, or like five frames per second? I'm just curious. Like, I'm not shitting on him. I'm just curious. Like, <laughs> maybe it was like animated. Maybe he did it like SFM or something. To me, bro, like, for me, like, in my brain, I'm not a developer, right? Don't get me wrong. But in my brain, couldn't they just fucking sue them, bro? The bot makers. Just fucking sue them, dude. Throw a cease and desist on them, okay? 
I guarantee you 90% of them will stop right then and there, okay? Because you do not want to get an illegal action with Valve because they have good ass fucking lawyers, okay? I don't understand why they don't just do that. Like, it would be so fucking easy to do that, okay? It would take, I guess, maybe it's because it would take Valve, like, actual time and energy out of their day to actually try to go out of their way and do that. But even then, dude, a simple cease and desist, bro. Easy. That's it. That's it. Like, in my head, they would have to stop, right? I mean, that's what other companies do with cheaters, okay? Is is they throw a cease and desist, right? Because then the the bot they they either continue and get sued or they stop and they don't get sued, right? Because if you're getting threatened, especially by like a corporate or a company like that, you're fucked. You're fucked, dude. Like there's no getting around it. There is no way you're gonna win that case. No chance. Zero chance. Especially because you are using their like their shit basically and they're you're selling it on the internet. Like that is that is automatically illegal, bro. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, we'll continue. But I'm just saying, cease and desist, Valve. Cease and desist. That easy. a bot hoster to spend more money is if they want to host more bots than their hardware can handle. If you've ever seen a bot miss an easy shot, chances are that bot is fighting for CPU resources with a hundred other bots to the point where they all start bots. <laughs> The reason bots. I'm going over this information is to demonstrate that this problem isn't going away on its own. Waiting for them to run out of money or get bored is not an option. They can sustain their bots indefinitely. In short, this will continue to be an issue until there's some real intervention. The most common of the cheats that these bots use is called cat hook. And up until very recently, cat hook? it was a single Google search away on GitHub readily available for any person to download. Cat hook has been taken hmm. off of GitHub. And while it was rumored that Valve was responsible for the takedown, it was actually taken down by its creator due to complications with the program. However, even if Cathook has been taken off GitHub, its files are still in circulation, and there are alternative cheats to Cathook. So, unfortunately, the bots aren't going anywhere. Now that we know about the hardware, let's talk about the software, notably how accessible it is. All over GitHub, you can find cheats and bot hosting software for Team Fortress 2. And before people mention Cathook disappearing from GitHub, Cathook wasn't taken down by force. The creator removed the repository and deleted their account voluntarily. He just covered this, didn't he? You could argue that Valve leaving all these repos up is some sort of big brain strategy. Let the code for the cheats appear in the public domain, then study it and find a way to detect it. According to some of my insiders within the hosting community, it would be stupidly easy to detect the code signatures left behind by the most popular bot software, especially with the code and executables being public. But I think we know that's not what's happening. Nope. If they were studying the code, one guy at Valve would have figured out how to detect them within a week. I was about to say, it would have been done already. It would have been done literally in a week, Max. I was literally about to say that. Soon afterwards. Yep. The accessibility of the software is the result of Valve's negligence. Yep. So why exactly do the cheater bots always play as Sniper? Well, well no shit. In, sniper has the ability to instantly kill five of the nine classes. I guess he has to. Ex I guess he has to explain this though, in case people are watching that don't actually play TF2. I was like, well, no shit, no, no shit, dude. But I'm like, well, okay, maybe, maybe yeah, he's explaining it because in case people are watching that don't actually play TF2. Oh, does somebody say a slur in chat? <laughs> he blur it, blurted it out. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Making it very streamer friendly. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, it's probably the bots. Putting racist slurs. That's probably what it is. This makes it harder to vote kick them out of a server, as the players who try to vote kick a bot will oftentimes find themselves outnumbered by the aim bots. These aim bots can start vote kicks of their own against innocent players, often resulting in not of the bad words. <laughs> These 
aimbots are nearly entirely located in Team Fortress 2's casual mode. Hey, you did the same shit I did. Blur out my friends list in the video. I did that in my first video as well. I did the same exact shit. Same exact blur effect too. That's funny. Why do the bots specifically target casual servers? Because that's the one that plays the most. Exactly. Because community servers have their own admins. Yep. Exactly. I'm not here. Okay, RJ, I believe you. Okay, okay. Hold on. <clears throat> this is Valve, bro. How many times have they promised to do something and then not delivered? Okay, like this is this is no this is no new thing, dude. You know what I'm saying? What's the size of your forehead in millimeters? To be honest, bro, off the top of my head, don't know, man. I'd have to measure it for you. Do I have a measuring thing right next to me? No. Unfortunately not. But you know what, dude? When I do, I'll let you know immediately, okay? Pronto. Alright? Pronto. Just imagine me with a fucking balloon head. Alright? That's all you gotta do. Just just for fun. But obviously these bots didn't pop out of thin air. They are created and hosted by humans. The people behind the bot crisis are referring to fingers horizontally against the top of your eyebrows and keep stacking. True, dude, true. Well, yeah, again, 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 TF2 community. Negligence is what motivated me to take matters into my own hands. In 2022, my friends and I started documenting the cheaters we found in TF2. This ultimately turned into the cheater database. Eight and above, you're cooked. <laughs> Just let Delphi find an exploit for an. Or just, yeah, right? Right? Where the fuck is Delphi when we need him, bro? That again, this is normal. Listen, okay, th th like two two people in the community, bro. This is what happens to content creators in general. Okay, like this hasn't even happened to me that much, but even I've gotten harassed a couple times, dude. Okay, like I get harassed in MBM, for example. Okay, like TF2's community is not a fun place, dude. It's not. I'm like, this is why. People leave the game because the community is fucking terrible, dude. Like, it is it is so bad. Like, even if you get shit ton of support, right? Shit ton of support, nothing but support, pretty much. You'll get people that will go out of their way to actually fucking harass you. Like, just for no reason. Like, if I went into Call of Duty, for example, bro, I am willing to bet that I would get harassed ten times less in Call of Duty as a content creator than in fucking shit, any game, dude. Any CSGO even, like any game, I'm guaranteeing you I'd get harassed 10 times less in that game than in TF2. Just plain sailing, dude. Straight up. Like, it's terrible. It is bad. Like, to put, into, put in perspective, <laughs> you're getting harassed. Right. You're getting harassed in Call of Duty regardless, right? Usually you get shit-talked, though, in COD. Like, it's not much more than that, and that's fine. Like, that's not a huge deal. Everyone talks shit. Everyone gets mad. Everyone gets salty. But when you're going out of your way to harass people, that's a little bit different. You know, it's a, it's a bit different of a story. But, like, for example, dude, I should not have to 
literally like expect to get harassed when I go on TF2 to stream. I shouldn't have that happen to me. That shouldn't happen. Okay. I shouldn't experience people coming into my chat and being like, oh, you support cheaters. You support cheaters. Because I fucking played with the bot one time because I was tired, dude. Because I was tired and it was a five hour two cities tour. Okay. I was pissed. Like, I wanted to just end the tour already. Okay. So I was like, dude, this guy is clearly cheating. I didn't even notice. I don't think he was cheating until like halfway through the mission. And I was like, you know what? I'm too tired to fucking care right now. I don't care. So I just played with the cheater, bro. Because I'm like, I want it to be over with. Like, I'm tired, right? Like, I'm tired of this shit. But usually I leave. I leave usually when I see a bot because it makes it boring. I don't even give a shit that they're cheating. I don't care, to be honest. It's the fact that it makes it boring for me to play MVM if there's a cheater on my team, right? Like, it's so easy now, okay? I don't like that. It makes it boring, okay? Honestly, a bot can be a blessing in disguise when an MVM. Yes and no. Like, it's it's just boring. Like I said, like, if you want easy wins, go for it. If you want to play with cheaters, go for it. I don't give a shit. That's your choice, dude. You know what I mean? Like, if people want to do that, I'm not going to say you're a terrible person because, like, go for it, dude. That's that's what you want to do, right? Like, go for it. Who cares? Okay? But, like, dead ass? It's crazy that I'll join MBM, and because that one time I played with a cheater, just the one time, people now say that I just, I support cheaters. And they, like, out of, they go out of their way to literally, like, fuck up my games when I'm playing MBM, right? And then also invade my Twitch chat sometimes. Like, that's not a community I want to be a part of, bro. And it's not like, it's not like this is the first time I've been harassed anyway. I've been harassed. This is like not even that big of harassment either. This is like a small ver variety of harassment right here that I'm dealing with, okay? Like, what this shit is, is way worse, okay? <laughs> to be <laughs> To be fair, okay? I can kind of get away with the shit that, like, people are doing to me because, like, it's whatever. Like, I can I can get around it, you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. But my point is, to put into perspective for people, this is what I mean. Like, it is, it is actually stupid that I have to even think about, oh, if I launch TF2, I'm going to get harassed. Like, plain and sailing. Like, I'm expecting it. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's ridiculous that I even have to come up with that mindset at all in tf2 that i'm like oh if i launch tf2 i'm gonna get harassed just just simply put like i'm expecting to get harassed that's why i like don't even play tf2 as much anymore because it's just like i'm tired of the community bro i'm so tired of it i'm so tired of it like already i just started making tf2 content bro and i already feel like drained out of the fucking game in the community like already even though on my YouTube channel, I've got nothing but, like, love and support on all my TF2 videos. And I, I don't think I've gotten, like, a single hate comment, bro. Like, it, crazy. But even then, that's what I'm saying is, like, because the harassment is way more powerful, though, like, it makes you just sit there and you're like, dude, why would I want to make content for a game that has this kind of community? You know what I mean? Like, why would I want to do that? Crazy. Like, actually nuts. You want you know what, dude? If you want to be hate comment, go for it, bro. Go for it. I read those too, bro. I read those too. I I think co hate comments are pretty funny, depending. So, you know, dude. But either way, that's my point. Like, it's it's ridiculous that people have and even have to like come to that conclusion. To like, oh, oh, dude, I'm gonna get fucking harassed if I play TF2. Like, even random people on the internet, dude. Like, it's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. And I'm like, I say this every time, bro, but I'm like, this is why content creators stop fucking playing TF2. This this is why content creators quit most of the time and go to a different game. Uh, so me again. Anyway, um, so yeah, obviously I agree with what I said. Um, definitely uh, the community is a big part of why content creators often leave um, and do different games. However, it is not the only reason. Uh, it is sometimes also obviously the content creator's fault and uh, many, many other reasons. I would just like to say that. It's not always just the community's fault. However, I, I definitely stand by that comment, and I would definitely say that that's very accurate. Anyway, thank you. I rest my case. Because they're, they're kind of just sitting there, and they're just like, wow, why do I want to make content for a community like this? Why? And then they just stop doing it, and then they go to other games, and they usually are more successful, <laughs> to be honest. Just saying... <laughs> 
Scatterbomb's Discord server and post the fake screenshots there, where they'd obviously be banned. Even still, bot hosters can be seen pushing this false narrative against Mega Scatterbomb to defame him. At one point, a bot hoster even pretended to be an ex-girlfriend of Mega Scatterbomb what? to try and push some sort of narrative. The first what? Slander was That's just stupid as shit. Element. Some cheater stitched together a bunch of images designed to depict me as a pedophile, saying things like, it's legal where I live, and one more picture and I'll stop. Ugh. So the cheaters aren't intelligent enough to present their slander in a way that could actually cause harm. Their usual strategy was to just barge into my Discord with a 30 minute old account and post the slander in general. That's so obvious. What the fuck? Yeah, why would they do that? So fucking easy. What the hell is that dumb shit, dude? Was by creating a wave of aimbots that used his name and profile picture and link to his Discord server. People in casual lobbies angered at the aim. Bro. They're, like, it's so obviously, like, impersonators, though. It's so obvious. Like, who, like, bro, I'm sorry, but if you're, if you're one of those people, or if in general someone is one of those people, dude, that, like, do not, just automatically assume what they're saying is the truth, bro. Like, what are you fucking doing, really? Like, you just, you're just gonna sit there and believe everything you fucking see? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous, dude, that people even do that. What's up, Clank, by the way? Uh, some people are dumb, that's the problem. No, some people are dumb. It's not that they're dumb, okay? It's that they're just fucking... They just don't care enough to look into it. That's the thing, right? But even then, if I don't care enough to look into something, I'm just gonna sit there and I'm not gonna believe it, period. Because if I'm like... I'm like, if I wanna look into it and prove that... Oh, yeah, may okay, maybe it is legit, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it is legit, okay? Maybe... Because I'm looking into it now, and I'm doing my own research with it. Okay, now I have my own opinion about it, right? But, like, if you're one of those people, like, let's say I'm just saying they're like, yeah, Clink, Clink's an aimbotter, by the way. And then some dumbass on your friends list is just like, oh, he's an aimbotter? Not even asking you or anything? Okay, just removes you. You know what I mean? Like, how stupid is that shit? How dumb? Like, bitch, get the fuck off my friends list then. Thank you very much. Don't waste my time like that ever again, bro fake ass bitch like <laughs> you know what i mean like it's so stupid scatterbomb's discord mistakenly believing him to be the one responsible for the bots then they were the bots that is ridiculous that people believed it you've got to be trolling you've got to be fucking trolling me i got kicked in the process of being mistaken for a bot yeah but i don't have any friends even in general though i'm just giving an example i know you're joking but i'm just giving an example There's some friends I know. Chat, causing several players to join the Discord, ready to hurl abuse at a supposed bot hoster. I managed to convince some of them otherwise, but there were a few people just too insane to deal with. Yep, and that's how it be. People, people are are way too out for blood in this community, bro. Constantly, like they don't even give a shit who's in the wrong. They're just like, yeah, I want to fucking harass people. Let's go. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, everyone's so sitting there ready, ready to fucking harass, like, for no reason, dude. I've gotten harassed at least, like, seven fucking times in this community, and that was without me being a content creator, by the way. In fact, I've only gotten harassed maybe once, like, minor, minor, as a content creator, and I don't even consider it harassment, but it was the cheater thing. It was the, oh, XD supports fucking aimbotters and shit. Like, that's literally what it was. I don't even consider that harassment, though, because that wasn't harassment. It's just dumbass people making dumbass comments. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Like you, other, another uh, Twitch streamer, Ghosty, and other people I know. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Oh no, my boy, dude. Poor guy. Wait. Wait, why the fuck would Spike... Dude, he does... <laughs> What? Why? What? Why would... Wait, hold on. Why would Spiky Mikey be victim of this shit? Why? That doesn't even make sense to me. What? What the fuck? Did he, like, go out of his way to call them out or something? That's the only way I can think of that he would even get harassed by them. Because, like, I'm like, he doesn't even really make content on the game. Like, I mean, he makes content on the game, but not, not like, bots as much. 
I think he made maybe one video saying his distaste for, for the situation that TF2 is in, right? But that was like it. I'm like, what? What the fuck? What? How did, how did he get dragged into this, dude? How the fuck? Oh my god. I, I had one person take my name on something. I don't know. Yeah, um, that's literally why I even... Um, I don't really, oh, sorry, I don't really remember, <laughs> I just, like, auto-corrected it in my brain, too, I don't know, um, but, oh my god, dude, like, what, makes no sense, makes no sense, dude. I'll listen to it, though. My name is Spike Mikey, and I make TF2 videos sometimes. My experience with the Spike... That was the most Spiky Mikey I think I've, like, ever heard him... Or, that was, sorry, let me rephrase that. That was the most Spiky Mikey thing I've ever heard him say. There you go. <laughs> that's what That's what the fuck I meant to say. Okay. Is when I don't know how to change my name. Oh, yeah. Mikey bots kind of started with a DM I randomly got on Twitter or something. Before I'd even heard the, the bots existing or anything like that, and it showed me a screenshot of whatever the bots were doing in... Yeah, so he just... He got dragged into this for fucking no reason, basically, is what's going on. You see what I mean, though? You don't even have to be affiliated with this shit. Shit, they could go after my ass, too. And I'm doing trading content, bro. I haven't even mentioned the bots at all, right? And neither has Spiky Mikey, but they could still go after my ass, okay? That's what I mean, like, how the fuck... Like, what kind of dumb shit, bro? People are so dumb. I swear, bro. All of my social medias and stuff like that, and they were asking if it was really me doing it. Obviously, the second I saw it, I wanted to put something out to let people know that it wasn't me doing it, because I, I knew more people would start believing it. But my Wi-Fi crashed. I started rolling in before I could make any kind of video about it, so I kind of just had to put something out on the day as fast as possible, else people would definitely start getting the wrong idea. And this went on for a good so crazy. So Poor Mikey, dude. Poor guy. Video, who was still kind of coming in and attacking me weeks after the fact because they'd found a spiky Mikey bot. And yeah, when they started going kind of every... Could you, uh, could you please say what you said? Uh, I just basically said, like, I can't understand why even Spiky Mikey would get harassed in this. Like, it was literally for no reason. And I was saying, like, dude... They, and theoretically, they could fucking harass my ass, bro, if they really wanted to. Just, and I make trading content. I don't even, like, touch the actual game itself, necessarily, except for the latest, like, one video that I did, where it was, like, aim, like, an aim guide, or, like, an aim tips video. That was the only thing I actually touched gameplay-wise, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude. Dude. Like, poor Mikey, dude. He doesn't deserve that shit. The poor guy. Poor guy, dude. What's up, Most? How you doing, dude? They just want attention from targeting people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all it is, dude. That's all it is. Crazy. And that that's what's worse, dude, is the community is so fucking dumb. Like, they, they don't even think, oh, maybe I shouldn't just believe it. Maybe, maybe I should just, like, actually do my own research and look it up. Shit, I could literally check Spiky Mikey's actual fucking Twitter or anything that he posts on, and be like, oh, he said he doesn't do that, and it's all, it's all, like, bullshit. Okay, cool. Done. That's it? <laughs> that's, that's it, dude. But instead, people are like, oh my god. What? Spiky, Spiky Mikey? Mid fucking boats? What are you, did no fucking way, bro. I believe it. It's so true, man. Like, you fucking shut the fuck up. You're so dumb. You're so stupid. So fucking dumb, dude. You just finished uh, eating lunch just for Larry King? Hell yeah, dude. However you want to watch the stream, bro, works for me. Appreciate you for being here. Yeah, that's the problem. The community is most of the time the problem. Exactly. And that's why I've said before. Like, even if they fix the bot crisis problem, dude, there's still people like the bot owners that just go out of their way and fucking harass people for no reason, dude. Like, this happens daily to content creators, to just normal people playing. Like, this shit is normal. Like I said, when I join TF2 or stream TF2, my in in instant... Blah, 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 I can't speak to you. My instant thought, immediately, that pops in my head is, I'm expecting to get harassed. Right? That's immediately the thing that comes in my head, bro. I'm like, I'm gonna get harassed. 100%. Today. Like, 
on TF2. And then I go join Minecraft or I play a different game, Lethal Company, and I play fucking Overwatch 2 for fuck's sake, and I get less harassment, dude. Like, it's the community, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's the, like, I don't even blame Valve for not wanting to, lo to work on this fucking game, dude. I don't even blame them. I don't. Like, what the fuck? Well, what the fuck is going on? What's up, Orchid? We're watching a video called The Dark Truth Behind the TF2 Bot Crisis. That's what we're doing. We're reacting, dude. React channel win right now, dude. Here we go. What's up, Kanan? And doing the Jungle Inferno contracts? Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, welcome. Well, basically, I'll catch you guys up. Um, They harassed one YouTuber for... That were basically calling out the bots and shit that they were doing. Like, the bot owners, all that shit. They, they harassed him. Like, religiously fucking harassed him, basically. And now they're harassing Spiky Mikey for literally no reason. He wasn't even affiliated with the fucking bots, but it's basically to clear their name a little bit and, like, pin it on somebody else. Okay, anyway, next. My YouTube comments for a while were a bit of a mess. People got mad at me in my Twitch chat, like, came into my stream to, like, abuse me. Some people even... That happens. Happened to me. Over those bots thinking I was funny, did it? I'm gonna say this too, dude. I don't even give a shit. If you are a bot owner or like a bot hoster, the fact that you're telling somebody to off themselves or whatever for any reason is fucking ridiculous, dude. The only way I consider it okay is like if it's a joke, okay? Like you're clearly joking. Even in that, even that's a little bit harmful, though, right? Even even that's a little bit harmful. But like. That is ridiculous. In any, even them going to harass the bot owners is not cool. You're stooping to their level, dude. That's what people don't understand. If you go out of your way to harass another person, you look just as fucking bad as that person. Look just as bad, dude. Whether you like it or not. But they would also impersonate him by creating an AI recreation of his voice using samples from his video. That's crazy. What? What the fuck? What? That is crazy! Oh my god! Holy shit! Shit, the bot owners will probably harass my ass just for watching this fucking video live on Twitch, bro. Wouldn't be surprised. Again, TF2 community. Harassment? <laughs> Never happens here, dude. Never, dude. Perfect community, by the way. What the fuck, dude? Dude, that sucks. Dude, really, like... That's why, like, I've really been just, like, not wanting to make TF2 content recently, bro. I've even, like, kind of just not felt like... Do the next video I'm working on right now is actually the movement, the movement tips video, bro. But the problem is, like, I don't even want to post it anymore because of all this shit. Like, it's so depressing. It's so depressing. Like, how can I sit there, bro, and want to, like, make content for a community that, that that's like this? And you can say, like, oh, it's just the bot owners, dude. Oh, it's just the bot. They're the terrible people. No. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Dude, it's, it is, I want to say a good 20% of the community at least, dude, that are like that. It's not just bot owners. People just openly harass in this community, bro, for no reason. They don't need a reason. They're just going to, like, be like, oh, you, you looked at me funny in game, dude? I'm going to fucking harass you. Straight up. This, this community is literally, like, to put it simply, this one in the furry fandom is the exact same in the way that it is literally a fucking popularity contest, bro. That's literally what this goddamn community is. The, the furry community and this one. Same shit, okay? Because I swear to God, people will just sit there, bro, and they want to they wanna cut you down, right? Like, so, like, for example, if I did something that's bad, right, or whatever, I probably wouldn't get harassed that much because I'm a smaller channel still, right? But let's say Spiky Mikey did the same thing as me, okay? He's going to get harassed a fuck ton because people want to blow it out of proportion because he's a bigger content creator. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's ridiculous. Like, the, the whole cancel culture mindset is so fucking stupid, bro. It's so dumb. It's so backwards bullshit, like, the entire way through. Like, I don't, I don't get how anyone can sit there 
and like harass somebody and feel good about themselves after. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, shit, I've harassed somebody before a long, long time ago. Did I feel good? No. I felt like shit about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you do what they do, bro, and you stoop to their level. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you just stoop automatically way down to their level, right? Like, that's what it is. So, like, because you harass me, that's okay for me to harass you now? Like, no, that's that's not okay. Okay, like, there's been plenty of people that have done absolutely, ja like, fucked up shit to me in this community, bro. And I don't go out of my way harassing any of these people. Because if, if I do that, I'm stooping to their level. Right? Like, that just makes sense. Why would I do the same shit that they're doing? I'm not better. No, I think it was you, because I heard fucking audio evidence that it was you, so it was obviously fucking you. Appropriating my voice in this manner is a crime, by the way, under New Zealand law. Um, what is happening? We're just, we're reacting to a video about basically TF2 and, re to be honest, kind of revealing how the community actually is. And I agree. I agree, dude. Your videos are great, by the way. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. But no, really, like, I'm trying to push away TF2 content on my channel, and I have been for a little bit. I'm still going to post TF2 content because I enjoy doing it, but only the script writing portion of making TF2 content. I don't enjoy actually playing the game anymore. I haven't since they honestly removed Quick Play. Like, I swear to God, I have not touched casual that much since they, since they removed Quick Play, bro, back in, like, 2016, okay? Barely touch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I've been pushing other content. I've been pushing Lethal Company a little bit on my channel. I've been pushing, of course, again, they're not TF2, so it doesn't get fucking views. Doesn't mean I don't put effort into it, though. I put a shit ton of effort in those videos still. I don't care if they don't get views. Like, it's not why I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Um, I just enjoy doing it, so I, I put a lot of effort into those videos still, even though I know, I know they're not going to get views because it's not TF2. But I still want to push the idea that I'm not just doing TF2 content. Because if I do just only push TF2 content, I'm going to be in the same fucking position as these people, bro. I'm going to be in the same position, okay? Getting nothing but fucking harassment. Having to literally sit there and defend myself over the most dumb shit just because people don't want to do their own research. Okay? I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't want a hobby to turn into brain damage for me <laughs> okay like i don't want that shit to happen bro your editing is really good i'm sure whatever you'll do will be solid thank you dude i appreciate that again that happens in tf2 a lot stream sniping that happens all the time people straight up just joined me recently with with a medigun with a shit ton of slurs on it and tried to just jo just keep joining me and healing me and then later I joined a different server that they couldn't really get into as well and guess what they tried joining the server telling everyone that I love children because unlike Valve servers, community servers shrug just the TF2 community things dude how in TF I got 400 points. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Also, I subbed to your YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. Sexless bot hosters? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. He, he blurs it. He blurs it. I think it's fine. He, he blurs it. He blurs it, dude. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's chill because he blurred it, okay? He blurred it. I think it's fine, right? Since stream sniping was mostly ineffective at impacting mega scatterbox streams, they would also launch DDoS attacks against the TF2 server. Hosters also launch DDoS attacks on Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing. Yep. The thing is, though, like for okay, for me, you know, for TF2, uh, Twitch streamer is just like voice enable zero, and they are in peace. Not really, because even when you do that, you cannot hide the name tag on. Item names. For example, I was I just literally just brought this up as an example, but I'll bring it up again because I think you joined right after. Um, 
I literally got harassed by somebody with a bunch of slurs on a medigun name, and they were healing me. Right? Like, they were, there's, inf- there's a fucking ad, bro. But they were healing me, right, with, with it. So, like, I still had to see the name, even though, even though I don't have objectors enabled, I don't have sprays enabled, I don't have voice chat on, and I have a hell of a good filter on my text chat. And I still had to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's ways to get around it no matter what, dude. No matter what. You can't get out of it fully, no matter what you do. So, like, if people really want to harass you, bro, they'll do it. They'll fucking do it. And guess what? It really only really... It really, really only happens in TF2. (laughs) Swear to God. Swear to God, dude. It only happens in TF2. I mean, it doesn't obviously just happen in TF2, but I swear to God, it happens a lot more in TF2. I would say I get annoying-ass people coming into my stream from TF2 at least maybe I want to say at least maybe once every other day annoying ass people coming into my chat in Twitch right on YouTube though I don't get any of that I don't get any of that harassment because the people it's getting recommended to just brainlessly watch TF2 content and that's fine and that's what they want to see right so they aren't really looking out of their way like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fucking harass this guy because, like, they're just watching YouTube. They don't care. But, like, if you're looking for streamers, especially, like, lower ones like me, you're, that's your thought process. You're really going to be like, oh, how the fuck do I harass this guy? How the, fu- how the fuck do I make this guy's game experience as unenjoyable as possible, right? And that's all it is. That's all it is. Usually, though, I just get away with, like, ignoring them. And they go away because... Again, they just want to fucking attention, bro. Like, if you if you go out of way harassing people, bro, you you really just don't got much going for you in real in real life. You just don't you don't got nothing going for you, dude. Sorry to say, but like, real. Okay, so like, if you go out of your way and harass me, it's like I'm not gonna give you my fucking attention because to me, it's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? You know what I mean? Like, what are, you, what are you doing with your life right now, my guy? Like, dude, don't you got a job? Don't you got shit that you gotta be doing right now? Like, dog, I don't have time to go fucking harass people on the internet. I got so much shit I gotta be doing constantly. I don't I don't got time, time to even bat an eye in somebody's direction like that. Okay, like, I've, I'm busy as shit, right? Like, and that's... What, what do you gotta think about, too, is, like, don't let it get to you. Because they're fucking, I don't want to say they're nobodies, because I don't think anyone is just necessarily straight up like a nobody. I don't think that. But I'm just going to say, like, they're not worth your fucking energy, because they're not trying to do anything with their life either, is like the kind of the nicest way I can say it. Right? So, like, why why would you give a shit about some, what somebody has to say when they're not even, like, doing anything with their life either? It's It's like some dumbass... Living in his mom's basement, being like, ah, oh, you fucking loser, get a life. And you're just saying, they're like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, it's like, what? Why, dude? Like, what the fuck? What, is, what are you talking about, bro? Anyway, we'll continue. Rant over for now. Hydrate, thank you, dude. Usernames with slurs are actually cut out as well, though, if you have, like, a chat filter. That actually counts, usually. You can use code, though. You can use, like, code, and it'll, it'll hide it still, like, special characters. You can't really get out of that. Yeah, they're straight up fucking crimes. If you speak out against the bots, the bot hosters would quite literally risk a potential prison sentence just to try and make you miserable. Now, up until this point, the bot hosters have done some heinous things, sure, but yep, actually it's a crime. Fine. That's what I'm saying again too, is like harassing can be considered a crime depending on how we go, far you go as well. Just saying. And I'm talking. I'm talking about legitimate harassment, by the way. I'm not talking about the dumbass shit that people say that's harassment. Like, oh, the- he called me. He called me a fucking loser one time. That's not fucking harassment, okay? Um, harassment is when somebody constantly goes after you, okay? Like, f- like follows you into servers, kind of shit, okay? 
Like, that is harassment. They won't leave you alone. They uh, they are continuously going after you. That is harassment, okay? If somebody says something to you one time, they're being a dick. They're being toxic. That's not harassment, dude. That's not the same thing. Personal information. Not only will they spread this information on their Discord server, but bot hosters will program their aim bots to mm-hmm. find voice and text mm-hmm. chat mm-hmm. this information as well. Another normal thing TF2 players do, by the way. Yep. There's a there's a reason why I literally tell the people like that are uh you know the people that are um basically saying like that I that I che- I support cheaters and shit and they come in my chat sometimes. I literally tell them I'm like what the and what if I do? What the fuck are you going to do about it? Nothing. What are you going to do? Nothing. What are you are you going to are you going to are you going to do something about it? Like are you going to dox me or whatever? Guess what happened already? What do you like? I what are you doing? Like what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I've been in this community almost ten full years, bro. I know how this community is. Like this isn't the first time I've experienced the the shittiness of this community, bro. Like this isn't the first time, and it won't be the last. Sure as shit, won't be the last. Yep. The fact that this has been happening for this long and Valve chooses to do nothing pisses me off. I was about to say, you can tell how fucking mad he is right now. <laughs> piss you off too. The thing is, though, again, because they're doing all this shit, cease and desist right there. You are, you, you are now, okay, here's what's going on. They are now treading into legal action territory against Valve, okay? Somebody... If somebody gets doxxed in game here, okay, and that person that got doxxed can sit there and be like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking sue Valve for letting this happen, and they'll probably succeed. Now, now who's gonna actually do effort into the game? Oh shit, now it's a problem because now they're taking away money, right? So it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People can do legal action now against against Valve, dude. That's that's what's that's what's important here. So they either fix this or they risk legal action, okay? Like a, a lawsuit against them. And then again, if they get enough evidence, there's not a lot they can do about it. To be honest, to get out of this one, like they're especially if they even get a threat of a lawsuit like that, they're probably gonna start making changes to the game. Because, like, shit, maybe that's what needs to happen. Maybe somebody need, does, maybe that does need to happen, dude. And they need to get fucking sued. Valve. Maybe. I mean, it'd probably do something. That's all I'm saying. Because now they're taking money away from them. That's the thing. They're losing money now. Because it's a legitimate concern, right? I shouldn't have to go into TF2 and be, be concerned that I'm going to get doxxed. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen, dude. I shouldn't have to go in any game and be like, oh, I'm going to get doxxed, dude. No, that shouldn't happen. doesn't matter what game you're playing. doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, no, does not matter, dude. does not matter what game you're playing. That should not be a thing in any video game that you play. Should not have to worry about that. I joined this community, like, uh, in 2016, 2017. I don't really remember. I personally have 600 hours in the game. Yeah, and I, I joined in, like, I think late 2015. But I, I played, like, religiously. Like, religiously for, like, fucking 10 years almost. Yeah, and I don't blame him. The bot hosters enough to make me their next target? Will my personal information be spread for the It will. It will, by the way. That no, it's going to happen. He's going to get targeted. <laughs> he in fact, he's probably already been targeted. Already. He's pro- they are probably already looking at this. He has 100k subs, bro. It's not like it's not like they're going to just not see this. No, no, no. They're going to see this. They're going to absolutely see this. They have people as well that will send them this video too. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna see this. They're gonna they're gonna fucking harass this guy. It's gonna happen. So I I hope to God this guy is safe right now. To be honest, I really do. Really, really hope this guy is very safe and uh, none of his information has been leaked or anything. So I, I really hope this guy is safe right now. Um, I joined two years ago. 
I have my old Steam account. Uh, it has 300 hours in TF2 and 300 plus 600, 900. Shake, dude. And if I'm not the next target, then who's it gonna be? And this still isn't the full extent of what the box. Okay, why? Why with the sad music, bro? It kind of ruined my vibe. I felt like it turned into a meme, bro, just because, like, he started adding, like, this is about to be some old-ass lady telling me about some, some fucking little, little kitten orphanage, bro, that I need to donate money to. That's what this sounds like. Yep, swatting is also incredibly fucking illegal, by the way, because you can actually kill people by doing that. Bro, what happened to TF2 in 2024? No, 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 no. This is what you don't understand. This has been... This has been the community the entire time. That's what... No. This isn't just... Oh, this is this year? This has been the community, dude. I want to say after, like, 2017, this is the kind of people that started joining the community, bro. Okay? Like, this isn't a new thing. This isn't a new thing at all, bro. Not at all. Not even close. It's not a prank. It is incredibly dangerous, dude. And even died over swatting. Yep. Oh, yeah. Level of harassment far exceeds trolling and to have Here's the thing, because in a, in a SWAT situation, bro, you have to do what the fuck they say or else you will get shot. Just straight up. I'm, I'm saying it right now. If you do not do what the fuck they tell you to do, you will get shot, bro. 100%. Okay? Especially if you look like you're reaching for something. If you do not have your hands in the fucking air... And, like, listening to every word that they say, if you panic and try to flinch and, like, grab something, they're going to think you're probably grabbing a weapon. They're going to shoot your ass. No questions asked. Period. Right? That's what's going to happen. That's what they're trained to do, though. It's not their fault, to be honest. It's not even their fault. That's the person's fault for calling the SWAT to begin with. Okay? If these people never existed and bots too, TF2 would be in peace? I don't think so. I don't think so. This was inevitable because, again, there is no moderation in the in the fucking community at all there's i mean what do we have steam rep that's fucking it that's not official valve right so like these people are not being punished they are freely harassing people without any fucking like um repercussions at all okay like that's that's the problem that's the problem dude they're like every other community like usually will take pretty big priority on on getting out the toxicity right they'll mute you they'll fucking they'll ban your account they'll they'll put you on <clears throat> a, like a shadow ban list you know anything right but t like valve doesn't give a shit dude valve doesn't valve doesn't fucking care they don't and it's been that way and i'm sick i'm sick of pretending that they do give a shit but at the same time again valve employees also get harassed a shit ton bro and again like i'm sure that also killed their vibe in working on the game but it's also not even just TF2 that's a problem. I mean, I know CS2 has a fucking cheating problem right now, right? So at this point, it is just Valve. It's just fucking Valve. Like, shrug? The, the worst thing that done by far was when they swatted me. Sometime last year, I had two police officers knock on my door at 11 p.m. looking for me. Thankfully, I live in New Zealand. So they didn't do a full-on Osama bin Laden type raid. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen in the US. That'll happen. Me of making a bomb threat towards my university. Earlier that day, someone had made that bomb threat under my real name. Usually what people say as well for like um like uh swatting is like oh, there it's a hostage situation. Like there's a hostage situation at this address. And that's, in the U.S., that's when they take it a lot more fucking seriously. And it, it can be very easily deadly. Very easily. Some of the student-run Discord servers. This was quickly escalated to police. And the university was partially evacuated. Ain't that crazy, though? It's like, eventually the investigation people will go so far, bro. So far just to ruin somebody's fucking life. Isn't that crazy? Like, I don't even, honestly, I don't even give a shit what you do in your life. I don't think anybody deserves that kind of treatment, to be honest with you. 
I would say even murderers don't fucking deserve that treatment, dude. Of just getting, like, harassed like that. Like, nonstop. That is so ridiculous. That is not the way to handle a situation, bro. Like, me personally, if I get harassed, bro, I'm gonna do the opposite, in fact. I'm gonna be like, fuck you. And I'll keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, that's a lot of times what will happen, to be honest. Shit, I mean, look at Keemstar. How many, t how many times he's gotten fucking harassed? He's still making content, bro. It does, some people, it just doesn't do anything. In fact, you're helping them. You're giving them views. You're giving them exposure by talking shit about them, right? So it's like, if you really want to cancel somebody or do any of that shit, ignore the fuck out of them. Straight up. Ignore they exist. That's the best way to go about it. Okay? Stop talking about them. You don't, you don't look like a dick because you're not harassing somebody. You are, in fact, destroying them a little bit more because you're not talking about them. That's one less person viewing, and the more people feel that way, naturally, they're going to do it too, right? That's the thing. That's the thing. Into the bomb threat and brought it to cover all the other things I've had to deal with. I can't go into further details for obvious reasons, but the investigation is ongoing. I'm usually capable of managing the stress associated with all of this, but I've had my fair share of low points. It's tough knowing that there's a group of people out there dedicated to making my life as miserable as possible. And while I'm definitely one of the most prominent targets, there are many others who have been bullied. And, and I feel so... I don't even know this guy, and I feel so fucking bad for him, dude. But the doxing like, he doesn't deserve that shit. I don't care what he's done. I don't give a shit. The level of harassment uniquely damning for Bell is that the bots themselves tend to be the primary attack vector for this illegal activity. I've seen many examples of bots being named after the real identity of innocent TF2 players, or using their faces as profile pictures. They should really think hard about their inaction towards the bots, as their hosts are constantly leveraging that negligence to commit actual crimes on their platform. Yep, and again, that could be a lawsuit towards Valve, very easily. Yep, exactly what I said, from the beginning. No, it's it's more than a possibility. In fact, it's probably going to happen. I'm going to say that. It is most likely going to fucking happen. That somebody is going to get harassed, something's going to happen, swatted, whatever, or like like leaked their info. I'm going to say leaked instead of, instead of the D word because I can't say that on stream as much, right? So I'm going to say leaked. Leaked info, okay? We're going to say that. So, yeah, leaked info on a game is incredibly fucking illegal, dude. Any any kind of leaking information from from like an actual like person's life is fucking illegal. Whether it be an address, like any 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 private information, dude, that's illegal as shit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they will probably get sued. In fact, I'm actually pretty confident in the fact that they will get sued. I'm I'm pretty sure about it. More evidence presents itself that could be used in such a case. Yeah, because if, if somebody gets enough evidence, dude, Valve would be fucked here. Sorry. I mean, they wouldn't be fucked, obviously, but they would get they would probably lose a lot of money. I'm going to say that. Their game, uncontested, and instead of trying to help the community get rid of these bad actors, Valve instead... Damn. Rick May. Rick May getting attacked, and he's not even fucking alive, dude. Crazy. That's just obviously for attention, bro. Also, I don't think I'm allowed to say to, to show the p word on stream either, but it's okay. Whatever. Video is almost over anyway. It's okay. Regularly be seen advertising their own shops where they sell immunity, essentially disabling a bot's ability to target you if you pay them money. Isn't that crazy? Also feature the ability to temporarily again. Making money off of a product that is technically not theirs. Okay. Again. Illegal. Just saying. I would love to see a lawyer talk about this shit, to be honest. Because I guarantee you, he'd point out all the shit that's hella illegal that, that's going on. Like, not even the shit that's super obviously illegal, but like everything in general that's illegal, period, in this situation. audacity of even attempting to do that on at least one occasion the bot hosters have even tried directly extorting community members in 2021 spiky mikey received an email from a bot hoster 
Uh... Is he gonna read it? For this spiky he does, yeah. I think. The email threatened Spiky Mikey with the promise of creating more Spiky Mikey bots. But these aim bots could be stopped if Spiky Mikey traded over his scorching flames bong 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 pad. What? <laughs> That is the stupidest shit I've heard yet, dude. I'm gonna harass you unless you give me your fucking unusual. <laughs> Who are you, bro? Who are you? Like, what? Like like eight hundred ish bucks, eight hundred ish buckaroos. That's that's a good like, almost a VR dude. It's almost a VR. You know what I'm saying? It's another instance of the bot hosts trying to make real world money from their aim bots. And the only reason that this type of extortion isn't used by the bot hosts more often is because most people aren't gonna be dumb enough to give into these people's demands. I also have another interesting question to bring up: How exactly are bots even able to use the voice and text chat anyway? On June 16th of 2020, in an attempt to stop the bots from spreading racist messages, <coughs> attempt. Text and voice chat, Valve restricted the ability for non-premium accounts to communicate. This included disabling text chat, voice chat, and even voice commands for free-to-play players. Players who have not bought any of TFQ's microtransactions can't even call out for a medic, a very basic gameplay ability. However, despite Valve taking this drastic measure, Aimbots today can still be seen abusing the chat as if nothing has changed. So how are bots able to communicate if free-to-play accounts are limited? This leads me to a concerning conclusion. The bot hosters have been paying to upgrade their bots to premium accounts in order to abuse the chat. If this is the case, then that means that Valve are directly profiting from the existence of aimbots and still choose to do nothing. In the grand scheme yep. of their income, the money Valve makes from aimbots is likely extremely minimal. But that does not change the fact that the bot hosters are directly paying Valve to abuse their own community, and Valve stands idly by and allows it to happen. So, deep breath. Yeah. I've just dropped a lot of information on you, and I hope I've made my case crystal clear. I'm um, sorry, could you repeat that whole thing again? I wasn't listening. I was I was very distracted. I'm sorry. It's a nice scatter gun, by the way. Not doing a single damn thing to combat the problem for years, while still adding microtransactions to spend money on. Yep. If you are a fan of TF2. Hell, if you're a fan of common fucking decency, you should be mad. <laughs> not be content to just let this happen. <laughs> he's so fucking mad. I I don't blame him. I don't blame him, but he's so fucking mad. It's it's just kind of funny. Just yikes, man. What the fuck? Disable chat systems for everyone. You couldn't be more wrong. If in game chat is disabled, bots could still use the weapon names, system profile pictures, and team names to do the exact same thing. There is no band aid fix. Wow. There is no simple solution. Yep. Valve needs to step up and take action. In the past, they're going to now. I'm. I'm gonna say right now. They're going to do action this time. You know why? Because now it's a lawsuit. Now, now it is a very easy lawsuit against Valve. Easy, dude. Easy. So now they're gonna do something about it. The cheaters will find a workaround, which forces you to create a better anti-cheat. Valve doesn't want to do the treadmill work, but their current approach just isn't working. Counter Strike Two is starting to face the same exact problems as TF Two. Cheaters and bots are rampant. Here's an actual video of a Chinese bot farm for CS2. If Valve doesn't learn to take action, then nothing is going to change. And yeah. will persist across all of their games. Yup. Yeah. So what can we do about it? 
and keep in mind if it, like again like people people they don't understand either like if if this shit happens in tf2 bro and in cs2 for fuck's sake their other games are fucked bro because what people are gonna see start seeing is oof e okay uh they have cheaters rampant in a new release technically source 2 fucking csgo right source 2 csgo dude they have rampers ram, rampers cheaters rampant running rampant okay so what does that mean for my my game that i'm playing right now that's a valve title kind of fucking scary isn't it kind of scary right I'm not, I'm like not even commenting on this either as like a TF2 player. I'm just commenting this on like on the side, right? Like witnessing this. I don't even give a shit about TF2 to be completely fucking honest, right? Don't care. The only thing I care about in TF2, bro, is the items straight up. Straight up. That's it. That's all I fucking care about. I trade, dude. I trade. That's all. That's all I fucking do. It slightly affects me too, though, because less people start playing, less trading, right? But even then, even then, like, it doesn't. It still doesn't affect me that bad, though. It doesn't affect me that fucking bad. Okay, it doesn't. But it still sucks. It still sucks to see this shit happening. Period. It don't matter what game that this could be fucking Valorant, and that'd still suck, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like. The most important thing we can do is spread information. I want people to spread awareness about what's been happening to Team Fortress 2. As far as the public mainstream knows, TF2 was fixed. After the first safety review. No, it wasn't. If word gets out that not only was the problem never fixed, it's infinitely worse than people thought, it could lead to widespread mainstream attention. Start talking and don't stop. Ever. I want you to spread the truth. And it doesn't have to be from this video. Now, <clears throat> the problem, the problem is, he said, start talking, don't stop, right? That's, that's fine. But the problem is, this is going to be a trend. Okay, this is what Save TF2 was as well. I don't care what nobody fucking says. It was a goddamn trend. Okay, that's what that's what the fuck it was. It was a trend. People didn't want it to be a trend, but it was a trend. It was a trend for content creators to be like, ooh, free views. Let me let me talk about TF2. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's pretty much what it was. Some pe a lot of people did actually comment on TF2 being like actually giving a shit, like actually caring about TF2, right? And actually being like, okay. I do actually give a shit about TF2, so let me let me kind of like spread my awareness, right? And now it's cool, but there's a lot of content creators that only really said something because they get views. It was a fucking, it was a movement, dude. Save TF2 was like a fucking trend. It's literally what it was. I don't, I, people can argue with me all they want though, but that's literally what the fuck it was. Like, yes, people still have like hashtag save TF2 and shit, but they're not doing anything. It's just in their fucking name. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a trend. That's what it was. Okay, it's not being talked about anymore, at all, okay, even though it's clearly the problems aren't fixed, okay, people aren't making content on it anymore because it's not a hot topic anymore, people don't care, okay, but now, now that this might become a hot topic again, and it probably will, because again, Valve might get legal action taken, targeting them, um, so now, probably will reach media again, to be honest, but again, it's just, it's, <laughs> Same shit. It's gonna be a trend. Same thing. People are gonna be like, "Oh, ooh, this is this is really blowing up in the media. Let's talk about this today." You know what I mean? So that's all it kind of is. That's all it is, dude. And again, people can, people can argue with me all they want that it wasn't a trend, but it, it's a fucking trend. If you say that it was not a trend, you're lying to yourself. Like you really are. And I'm not even trying to be like toxic about it. I'm just straight, like that's it was straight up a trend. Like straight up. Okay. Maybe not for the TF2 community, but for everyone else, it was a trend. It was a trend. If it was not a trend, it would still be talked about. But it's not. That contains a comprehensive breakdown and proof of everything I've talked about in this video. As of the release of this video, I have personally sent the document to multiple publications in the hopes that they report on the story. And you can help as well. Spread the document, spread the proof, and spread the facts. See if YouTubers outside of the TF2 sphere will report on it. Post it on Reddit or Twitter or TikTok or wherever you can. Make a video reacting to this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But, but, I'm not going to, and that's only because of the reason that I don't want to actually um, make any React content. That's the only reason I'm not posting it. But.
but I may reconsider. I don't think so. To be honest, I'm not a fan. I'm not, I, I, I just don't care. I'll be honest. Like, I want to see TF2 fixed, but at the same time, like, I, I don't, whatever, dude. Like, you know, dude, either way. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about posting it. I doubt I'll post it. I absolutely doubt it. But maybe. Maybe. just a petition. We're gathering the names of the people that signed the petition, and we're going to physically print them out onto something, and I will see to it that I help get it personally delivered to Valve's headquarters, so they can see for themselves just how much people want this Valve fix. Obviously, the more names, the more effective this method will be. So I've also linked the website in the description. There's also a smaller method you can utilize to spread the message. One person by themselves won't make much of an impact, but on mass, we can send a bigger message to Valve. The first of the things... <laughs> a random cred, dude. Jesus. On the, Steam page. ...the review system allows users to give their direct feedback on a product. So let's utilize that. If you are sick of the aim bots and Valve's neglect, let that be known in your Steam review. Another thing you can do is boycott the game's microtransactions. Despite the presence of aimbots, Valve... Okay, the, this is kind of getting into the problem where I... This is kind of, like, against what I'm trying to go for. Like, boycotting is a negative action. I just don't agree with it. Okay, like, I, I don't agree. In fact, knowing Valve, I think they're going to not care even more. In fact, boycotting will probably do the exact opposite we want, where instead of, like them being like oh shit our stuff's getting taken away from tf2 oh well we have cs2 <laughs> you know what i mean like who gives they're not gonna care they're not gonna care if it gets boycotted dude straight up i don't think valve will give a shit that's why i'm like i'm not that's kind of why again i don't want to post the video as well like as a reaction because this i don't really agree with like I don't think boycotting is going to do anything. In fact, you're giving a negative... I mean, obviously, it's all negative, but, like, you're giving already what they're getting. Like, so, basically, Valve already gets fucking harassed. Like, everyone knows that, dude. People, Valve employees get harassed a shit ton over the TF2 stuff, right? People people may say, like, oh, well, they fucking deserve it, but do they? Do you, do, like, does anyone really deserve to get fucking harassed? Like, really? You know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, people can say up and down that, like, oh, they deserve it. They, they fucking deserve it. Anyone deserves to get harassed if they do fucked up things. But, like, if you're saying that, are you really different than those people? Like, really? Like, are you are you really different, dude? You're, you're sending hate their way. You know what I mean? You're sending people after them, whether you are meaning to or not. You're, you're saying bad shit about them publicly. And then maybe that's the first impression somebody else gets of them, right? And now, now their fucking shit's ruined, right? Now their reputation's ruined. Okay. Like, it doesn't even matter if you actually are a good... But we don't know. Like, we, we don't know these people in real life either. Like, that's the thing. Like, people act differently online, bro. Okay, I'm not saying what they're doing is okay. I'm not at all, okay? I'm, I'm fully disagreeing with what they're fucking doing. I think it's terrible. I think all this shit is awful. But I'm just saying, like, if you go out of your way to harass people, are you really different? Are you really different than that person that you're trying to harass? No. In fact, I would say you're worse. I would say you're worse. Straight up. Because, like, there's, there's no point. There's no, there's no point in harassing people, dude. There's no point. You may think there's a point, but, like, is there? You're wasting your own fucking time, bro, going after somebody, after somebody you really don't even give a shit about. You know what I mean? Like, dude, like, if I, if I had a problem with somebody, right, and I'm going out of my way sending people after them, okay, I'm going out of my way saying sh terrible shit about them, okay, and I've done this before. I'm no, I'm no fucking, I'm no saint. Don't, don't get me wrong, dude. I've done this shit before. Okay, that's how I know. That's why it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Okay, if I'm sitting there talking shit about somebody, I equally feel like just a shithead, as much as them. You know what I mean? So like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna talk shit about somebody, right? Maybe it's a joke. Maybe whatever, right? But if I'm gonna go out of my way openly to to harass somebody and fuck with their life. 
I'm wasting my own fucking time, bro. I could be I could be out doing productive shit with my life. I could be making a fucking TF2 video. Just kidding, dude. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, I could be making a video. I could be streaming. I could be doing something I actually want to do, right? But instead, I'm wasting my time harassing somebody. And in the end, it's going to make me look like a shitty person. It's not going to make that guy look like a shitty person. Maybe to some. Maybe to fucking brain-dead idiots that just believe everything that, that it's said to them without no fucking research or evidence at all, right? But, like, at the end of the day, like, that's it. They're, you're no different, dude. You're no different from that person. I'll continue to add but I will say, I'll, I'll watch the rest of the video, and then I'll kind of make some some of my last comments about it, and then we'll move on to a different video or something. That does not function. TF2 is also expected to have an update this summer, which will bring with it more microtransactions. If you don't want to reward Valve for how they treat TF2, simply don't reward them with your money. Vote with your wallet. Another thing you can do is record and tell I don't think that's going to help again. Maybe, but I doubt it. The more videos and the more proof that is out there, the better. And it looks like the bot hosters are going to make our job a whole lot easier. Looks like they're going to ramp up the amount of bots on the day of this upload as some sort of show of power. So, I want you guys to record it all. They're only making it easier for us to show everyone how bad the problem is. Yep. I know, look, I know that a lot of people have had issues with the first day of TF2. In hindsight, there's a lot of things that could have been done differently. But we shouldn't give up just because it didn't work the first time. What we should do... It technically did work a little bit. Got attention. It, but it was, of, of course, again, the attention that I knew it was, which was, oh... Let's just basically say, oh, we're going to do something about it, and then not actually do something about it. That's literally what I knew was going to happen. I already knew it. It's fucking Valve, dude. Not like this. This ain't my first rodeo at this fucking company, bro. My poor fucking guy, dude, Spiky Mike. I'm sad right now. I feel so bad for him, bro. I'm going to fucking hug him, dude. I swear. Okay, so I'm just gonna say right now, um, it was it was a good video. It was really good. I feel like it definitely brought out a lot of shit that actually happens. I don't rest necessarily agree with the boycotting at fucking all. I think that's gonna do the exact opposite of what we want. However, um, it could work. You know, I'm not I'm not that smart. It could work, dude. It could work. I don't think so. Again, I think it's gonna be a complete waste of time boycotting the game and like. Because I think, if, to be honest, if anything, I think what they're going to see it as is, let's pull the fucking plug on this game. To be honest, that's kind of what I think about it. Because, like, oh, we're not making money anymore. Beep. Bye-bye. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's kind of all I see it as. That's all I see it as, dude. And, again, maybe, maybe, maybe they do so do something about it, right? Um, I do definitely think they'll do something about it, though. I definitely think they're going to actually work on TF2 now. Not not religiously, but I think they're going to actually work on TF2 to at least fix the bot crisis because, because now it is a very big legal lawsuit against them, <laughs> okay, because all this shit is happening on their servers. That's the problem. And that's, again, and especially, maybe not even as much, like, it's in the U.S. too, but, like, I know in EU, for example, that's a huge fucking lawsuit, bro. That is a huge huge fucking lawsuit okay i think even in the philippines and all that shit like that's a huge fucking lawsuit dude so like pretty much no matter where you are on the planet yeah that's a huge fucking lawsuit towards valve dude that's the problem so will they make like effort this time i think so to be honest i genuinely think so because now they're not only losing tf2 money they're losing actual money that is going towards CS2 and other video games, right? Or other projects that they're working on. For example, Deadlock right now. You know what I'm saying? So I think they're going to very, very much so make action against this. Hey, um, if you actually watch this whole video, I'm kind of surprised. Or if you just skim through it, that's cool too. Whatever works for you, dude. Appreciate watching the video. Appreciate it a lot, dude. And uh, definitely not done making TF2 content. 
I was definitely expressing my distaste for the community and how frustrated I was kind of in the spot that the community is in general, kind of giving my input overall on, on my point of view on everything. And if this gets out more somehow, you know, and uh, more people see this, hey, <laughs> how's it going? Um, but more importantly, dude, if, if people do actually harass me for this video, um, you're going to see in the comments, bro, or anywhere else, probably, that uh, that happened. So if that happens, then, well, kind of proving my point, ain't it? To be honest, you know what I mean? Also, uh, I just wanted to say to the people that actually do watch my content and uh, have been subscribed for a while, if I do get harassed, do not get involved, please. If like if I get harassed, this is my fault. I made this video, and I was fully aware that I was probably gonna get harassed. So, don't ignore it, dude. Ignore it. It's whatever. Like if I get harassed, completely my fault, bro, and no one else's. So please do not get involved if you see any harassment going on with me especially I I kind of already knew what I was doing by making the video to begin with so I mean like I said either way appreciate you guys dude and uh, I will see you guys in the next video bye bye